You're watching Unrendered on IKTV. I'm Tony Regisford, and my guest is Mr. Stephen Joachim. You can follow us on Twitter at iConcepts. Stephen, moving nicely along. Um, Sir James. Sir mm. James Mitchell mm. has been mired in this whole Otley Hall project and its uh, non-performance uh, from the point of view of what it was made out to be. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And, of course, um, there was an investigation in terms of um, why did it go wrong? Why was the so much money spent and uh, of course the government had backed a significant amount of loan. Mm -hmm. Anyway, yep. just cut through, the, cut to the chase. Here it is, Sir James is going off to the Privy Council now to seek mm -hmm. redress mm -hmm. on the matter against the Commissioner yep. where um, Commissioner wrote a report, report. Mm -hmm. and um, mm -hmm. Sir James was not consulted, was not engaged According in, to Sir James. According to Sir James. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have a case where the appellate bodies mm -hmm. in the region have, he's lost those rounds. All along, yes. And now he is at yep. the Privy Council. Mm -hmm. um, let me get your comments. But I don't think, first of all, people really understand what this is about. If mm -hmm. Sir James is successful and wins, mm -hmm. he will be able to stand up and people like me, who are totally against the CCJ, mm -hmm. will be able to get up and say, we told you so. Right. We told you so because we told you that there are too much political interference in the local courts mm -hmm. and in the regional courts. And therefore, when you get to genuine independent people who have no vested interest, you can see the difference. Mm -hmm. That's, so this is a fundamental issue here. So you think this if is... If he loses, yeah. then Dr. Gonzalez will get up and say, listen, the CCJ is wonderful. Mm -hmm. This is the way we need to go. The Privy Council, is independent cut people cut have cut backed us. That? I, re I really think it is fundamental if people see it as such. Oh, is One it just because it's a James that you're saying it's... Um, I, I'm just no, taking I, I the task really, on the CCJ No, I think this, this, is, this is largely yeah. Otley Hall. And let, let, let's remember what Otley Hall was and is about. Yeah. Otley Hall was, in my view, an excellent project. Mm -hmm. Every other shipyard, as far as I'm aware of, in the Caribbean is making a ton load of money. Mm -hmm. When the ULP came into power, had they invested 10 more million dollars into that project, I think it would have been a massive success, mm -hmm. without any doubt. A friend of mine ran Otley Hall for many years and was able to keep it afloat mm -hmm. with no investment whatsoever, on his own merit, busting his behind with 30 workers down there. An incredible job in my view. However, it was a political fantasy. Mm -hmm. And you heard stupidity like, oh, the project is only worth $5 million. That is absolute crap. That's people speaking who do not understand this first thing about valuations. A valuation is not based upon, you know, you have many ways to value something. One way is to look at projected future cash flows. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's only, gonna, it's only going to you know, generate a million dollars a year free cash flow. You take it for 10 years, that's $10 million discounted by seven, you know, whatever mm -hmm. it is, and you come mm -hmm. up with seven, seven and a half million or whatever it is, the stupidity they came up with, right? right? That's, that's what happened there. Nobody in their right mind thinks that only $5 million was spent on Otley Hall. Right. Nobody. But, 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 but the issue is, let's yeah. assume, the issue as far as I see, is we allegedly spent whatever it was, 200 million US, whatever it was, right? Mm -hmm. And we're saying no, and somebody comes up and says it was only worth 5 million. What they should have said, in my view, is that you claim you invested 200 million. The reality is what you really invested was 100 million. What happened to the extra 100 million? That is a legitimate so, question so, so to So there ask. was a gap. There was a gap. The, the gap may and not have been as big you. as 5 million to 200 million. Thank you very but much. And that was done for politics. So, right, but, 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 but the, there was a significant a, Apparently gap. there was a gap, Okay. right? Mm -hmm. And a significant or not, I don't know, I'm not an expert. Mm -hmm. I know it cost a heck of a lot of money to do what was done at Hartley Hall. Because many of us, I don't know about the people who are old enough to remember, we could remember there was a beach there. Mm -hmm. And th there is no beach anymore, and right. there's a lot of concrete and steel, and that is not cheap. Yeah, it's not cheap. Okay, so, so let us not, it's not $5 say that, right? Dollars, it's it is not $5 that. million. Dollars. That was stupidity. <laughs> right. And yet we still see it in the newspapers. We hear it on the mm -hmm. news. That is not what happened. Mm -hmm. There may have been a gap. I don't know what the gap was. To this day, I do not know mm -hmm. whether the gap was $100 million or whether it was $10 million US. I right. do not know. The fact is there was a gap, right. right? And the fact is that I personally believe that Sir James was hoodwinked. I don't believe he deliberately quote-unquote, stole any money. I don't believe he was part of any... Any racket. Any racket. Or yes. I really do mm. not believe that, you know. Um, and you may say I am biased because I've known the, the man mm. since I was a child. Right. So, I, I, and I am probably biased. You know, my uncle, Uncle Richard Joachim, was involved in it. Was involved in the he was at a chairman of NCB yes. Bank at the time. I mean, you know, stupidness happened there. So, of course, personally, I can't forgive people like Astafan for what they did to my uncle because it was unnecessary, mm. right? And, and, you know, so... It was just unnecessary. Again, back to the old nastiness to prove political points. Huh? 
You know, guys, there are ways to handle things. So James Mitchell is a former prime minister of our country. Mm -hmm. We have very little respect for our former leaders in this part of the world, and particularly in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. I see Adam Eustace walking through the airport. He has to line up like everybody else. You know, guys, this was a prime minister. We can't treat ourselves yeah, a little no, bit no, better no, than no, that. I, you know? I agree so, with you. So okay, now we're back I, to Sir James now, yes. right? Hmm. We're back to Sir James, who feels very strongly that he was this was this was this was a commission that was set up to get him. Mm -hmm. and a if witch you're hunt. A, a witch hunt. And if mm -hmm. you're an independent person watching what happened and the kind of people who appointed that commission, you must agree. Any independent person looking at those people, the mm -hmm. Astafans of this world and the legal representatives, mm -hmm. they were not set up to, to, to find out what really happened. They were set up on a witch hunt to try and find somebody to put the blame on. And mm -hmm. that blame needed to be on Sir James Mitchell. That was the whole point of the exercise from the beginning to the end. That is my view. Sir James feels very strongly that this. He saw this happening. He isn't a fool. He's an excellent politician. He saw what was happening. He said, no, I'm not going to be a part of this. And of course, he did what, in his view, was necessary to defend himself and his position. And we seem to forget that. So now he's saying, listen, guys, you basically were trying to strong arm me all the way. I'm right. going to take it all the way to the Privy Council because they are the only ones that I have any Let faith in who are genuinely independent mm -hmm. right. and can say whether I am right or I was wrong, whether I should have testified or I should not have testified, whether I was given the fair opportunity to testify on a fair basis on a fair basis, right, to an independent committee, not a bunch of political strong arm mm. people who just want to kill me. That's his point. We will so, now see whether he was right or wrong, and that has serious, it'll have no impact on the elections in my view, but it right. has a serious impact on those of us who feel that the local judiciary is not as independent as it should be. Yeah. So Stephen, out of this, you are saying, you are suggesting here, or, or even in a stronger sense, you're mm -hmm. saying, you're mm -hmm. making the point, that um, when it comes to matters of politics, yeah. right, mm -hmm. those judicial bodies in the Caribbean, you're saying, are incapable of being impartial? I, I, don't, I wouldn't like to use the term incapable mm -hmm. because I have no doubt that we have some excellent judges, some excellent magistrates. But I think if you look at the political process of appointment, and I know certain mm -hmm. people will say, oh, the politicians don't appoint them. Yeah, but who appoint, the politicians appoint the council who then appoints them. So there's a, there's a step between yeah, but, but the two. But in the case of the but, I mean, Caribbean, you're, you're, um, Yeah, but you're, you're, and, and these judges, and these yeah. judges, there's a reason that the United States Supreme Court mm -hmm. are appointed for life because it means no politician can remove them. What are our judges? They're appointed for very short terms right. and given limited contracts. Right. You know, so maybe that guys, if you fixed. rule against me, guess what's yeah. going to happen to you eventually? Yeah. So right? maybe that so needs to be fixed. If, and if even it isn't true, it's certainly the perception is certainly yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. And you mm. could shut people like me up by saying the CCJ would be appointed there for life. Right. And these are independent people in that case, and they're independently funded. They're not, they don't have to rely on government allocations every year. Yes. Until you have that, you do not have an independent as, judiciary. As, we, as we're speaking about judiciary, and we're going to get back to Sir James, but mm -hmm. uh, of course we cannot forecast what the result would be. So, and, and, and I feel maybe we, we maybe hit the pause button <laughs> until... <laughs> uh, we'll come back uh, to this uh, in a few weeks. <laughs> until we hear what the result is, <laughs> right? But, but sticking with the judiciary you, you, yep. you, and, and the judicial process, yep. um, you take the... DPP, for example, yes. right? Yes. And um, he has been thrown into the jaws of politics yes. because he's not a pros issues that, um, that, uh, that... That he should that, not have done. Well, I, you're saying he should not have done. I'm just saying he's not a pros issues that maybe um, had a political bearing, right? But, but yet, <laughs> yet, yet, um, he, in my mind, mm -hmm. um, has vindicated himself over and over. I mean, because some of the things people have appealed against have gone further, Tony, and he's won. And, Tony, and there's an old saying, my mm -hmm. friend, that justice must not only be done, but mm -hmm. must be seen to be done. There is no way on the face of this earth that any reasonable human being would think that my friend Colin mm -hmm. is an independent man when it comes Why? to the DPP. Because well, was, first of all, he served he as a senator, a senator in a particular he party. Was, he was a um, politician. He was, right. you know, he was three, how, big, he served in Ralph's office. You know, yeah. come on, guys. You know, How we, are you going perception to get? matters. Yeah. We had one. We had a guy from Trinidad who, by all means, did an mm. excellent job. Um, what's his name? Are you saying he did an excellent job just because from what I hear, from what popular decision? Yeah, yeah, correct. And maybe that's what yeah. you need. Sometimes you got to make unpopular decisions. Oh, you're saying he decisions. did an excellent but, job but, because he no, was not... No, but perception um, matters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You put in a DPP in place and you're going to put in somebody who served 
in one particular political party faithfully, zealously, and all of these things wonderfully well and hard. He was a senator for the party. Come on. That doesn't, where's the perception of fairness there? I know, I know people will disagree very strongly with me. You know, but I'm not saying that Colin did anything wrong or not. Mm -hmm. I'm saying the perception is wrong. It is wrong. A, D, a, a DPP needs to be somebody independent. And furthermore, it shouldn't be of intention. So you're going to take that same argument and somebody else. to say the Speaker of the House, for Absolutely example. right. Hendrick, again, again, I like Hendrick, mm -hmm. but I think he's made some decisions that are blatantly wrong and blatantly political. In but my haven't view. speakers always been... Um, well, can't, no, I think Monty Mall did an excellent job and was never perceived to be totally one-sided the way, the way Mr. Alexander is, no, well, Hendrick that's, is, no. That's, 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 that's my view. That's, that's my view. Yes. But certainly a mm -hmm. DPP. It's like mm. the police force, you know, in crime and whatever. It's hard to arrest your cousin. There has to be a way for more political integration so that we're using more people from the OECS. I would feel uh, better uh, if it was a St. Lucian who came here to be the DPP. Right. I would feel so, better. There's less, so, there's a little so, less. But, it looks but, a little better. So let's go back to the argument of, yes. the, of the appellate bodies then. Yes. Because the appellate bodies are not, the court of appeal mm -hmm. is not um, populated mm -hmm. by people who are my uncle um, or my cousins. Um, they are who appoints them? Who appoints the Court of Appeal? Yes, I know, I know what you're saying here, but it's not one Are they single on a limited prime minister. Contract? That, yeah, um, but I mean, when you have a situation where an OECS where and I'm not sure it is sure eight, seven or eight prime it. ministers, mm -hmm. you want to tell me one particular prime minister cannot have significant influence there? And there isn't a little bit of a trade-off here, I give you this, you give me that? You want to tell me that doesn't happen? I, listen, you appoint this person who is of incension and in return, and we see it all the time, yeah. and in return you appoint somebody who is an Antiguan over here. This is always going to be a sticking point. And it will with, be, with correct. Moving forward of us. Correct. But again, it's, it's because also, mm -hmm. Tony, that we are so small. Mm -hmm. We all, I mean, all of these guys went to the same university. The vast majority of them probably went to UWE. The vast majority of them have gone to the same law school in mm -hmm. London. They're all buddies and friends. So that is part of the problem. They may be how? able to act independently, but it look it does not look how, good. How then, Stephen? And I yes. think we, 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 we've been cued here, but mm -hmm. how then? Because who makes your final decision in terms of, of, of right legal now, matters? Right so, unless I'm proven otherwise, I'm happy with who, the Privy Council. People who literally write your constitution, you know, because mm -hmm. of the question of precedence. And, mm -hmm. and the, the deceased Sim, Simeon McIntosh right. Was on this program at pains to point that mm -hmm. out, you know. And yep. He's saying unless we can move away from the Privy Council, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. we will never have a constitution that is of our own. <laughs> he but, made but the linkage. Well, you know? I, so how? I happen to think and mm. disagree strongly mm. that we have not yet proven that we are capable of making, in my view, independent decisions, independent of of politics because the connections are still too tight. I don't know when that will happen, but I am not comfortable right now, mm. and I know a lot of people are not comfortable. That was a central issue, as you recall, in the referendum. There are many things in the referendum mm -hmm. I agreed with, many things. I still voted no because I didn't want the CCG to be our final appellate court. And mm -hmm. I happened to feel in other areas we didn't go far enough. I think we should have gone to a presidential system mm -hmm. instead of a parliamentary right. system in those areas. We didn't go far enough. Yet there are people who argue with you that many. until we release ourselves from the, the group exactly. of like the... What exactly? Like what? How? We, how? Un oh. un until we Give me are, an example. Until, well, that we want to hang people instead? No, 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 no. I'm not saying that because mm -hmm. I, even if you had yes. the final court of appeal right. as being the, uh, the Caribbean Court of Justice, yep. I still would disagree with hanging. Okay. <laughs> so, right. so, but but so, this is the point. This is why we live in a know. wonderful thing called a democracy. Mm. We can have live debate and disagree, and I will agree with Dr. Gonsalves on certain things. I'll agree with him on certain things, and I'll disagree with them on certain things also. And that is why we have a live democracy, and we, have, and we can debate and argue and disagree, and then go and have a beer afterwards, and we're still friends. Let's stick it That's there. what we need to be able to do. Let's, let's pause it. I'm, so, I'm not saying I'm right, you know, it's just no, an no, opinion. No, 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 I know. I, I know. <laughs> I'm here, here to get your opinion. As, as long as you don't defame anybody, you, <laughs> you will keep me safe, okay? <laughs> this is on Render on IKTV. My guest is Stephen Joachim. When we come back, we'll continue this lively discussion.